Okay, so we're here at the first mine in Beaverdale, and as you can see, it's a uh, lovely BC day. It was supposed to be 18 or 19 degrees, which is, you know, in the 60s, and sunny, or warm, and, uh, well, it's obviously not the case, it's raining. Standing on top of the tailings pile right now, it's hard to tell it's a tailings pile, but when you're coming up the road, which the road continues up that way, two more sh uh, shafts and add it up the road, you can see that it's obviously a tailings pile. And from what I can remember, if you walk this road right here, it continues up the hill, so I might ride up there on my ATV in a little bit just to see if there's something else further up. I don't know what the road's like. It looks a little bit iffy, but we'll see. And there's a shot looking back at the tailings. From what I can remember, the portal's just right around the corner. I was here a long time ago. I never had the... Uh, Never had the equipment to explore it all that much, so Let's see people have been camping up here. So, I believe the portal is right here. Hopefully, it's still accessible. It is. Door is open. I'm going to get geared up and head inside. Okay, so here we are at the portal. Let's head on in and check it out. A little bit of water inside. A little bit of a low entrance. Inside's decent. We'll head on in and check it out. It's a branch or just a little bit of a well, just a little bit of a dugout area on the floor. Be dangerous of those. Never tell if those are shafts or whatever, so we're gonna stay right on the ore cart tracks. You can feel a little bit of air flowing here. A little partial collapse. Nothing too bad though. I'm surprised the orchard tracks are still in here. Usually they take them out. Especially in these BC mines, they just pull all the iron them because they're pretty uh, easily accessible. We'll just keep heading down the main portal, or the main tunnel. There's looking back at the portal. About 100 feet in now. And the tunnel continues this way, so. A bit further in. So, just passed over this. That wasn't too far from where I just was. You can see that is a flooded vertical shaft. If you looked, I can't really tell. You can't see on the camera, but I can't tell if it's a vertical shaft or just a little pit or something. But, uh, yeah. There's a few of these in this place, so keep my eyes on the floors and keep moving forward. Looks like we're coming to a intersection of sort here. Let's see the our car track off to the right. And they continue straight ahead. Looks like it might be a dead end straight ahead, but it's hard to say. So there's the right branch hill. In keeping with our rule, we will explore the right branching tunnel first. And it looks like it's a dead end. Yep. Dead end. A little bit of a graffiti on the walls. They were going to go further because there's drill holes at the end. There is a 
newspaper here of some kind, but it's not very old. Some Coors Light and some Pilsners. So, back out to the main tunnel. Let's see if the main tunnel goes much further. It looked like it might have just dead ended a little bit up ahead here, too. But let's have a look. See a ball cold on the left here. So it looks like it might have been cross ties for the war cart tracks or something. And it looks like it either turns in straight right or we hit the end. Oh, it's, it keeps going. Oh, it might be a collapse up around the corner. Reach the collapse. That's why there's some water here. Try to get in closer so I can shut the collapse. That's it. So that was either end of the line 